Today I'm going to make yellow ochre. For today I'm going to use a very special batch of ochre. It's from the 60s and I acquired it recently. It's a big bucket full of golden ochre. A beautiful deep yellow version of this natural pigment. Ochre is PY43 and although that doesn't really say that much about the color, it does give us an indication that it's the natural version. Ochre has been used for over 280,000 years, uh, but the most famous ones um, are the cave paintings from France, which are about 17,000 years old. Obviously, they didn't use a purified version of ochre as I do right now, but they used the raw pieces that I showed at the beginning of the video. Yellow ochre is an impure form of iron oxide, also known as limonite. But still, it's not a mineral or not a one substance. It's a mix of minerals and clays that give us this yellow color. Also known are the red versions or brown versions and you can heat up yellow ochre and it'll give you a range of different colors. But still, yellow ochre isn't just one hue of yellow. You have several versions, pale ones, orange ones, very bright yellow ones, duller ones and they're all called PY43. Since the 1920s, a synthetic version has been made, also known as Mars Yellow. Mars colors were synthetic iron oxides and have been very popular since. This natural occurring yellow has been used, like I said, in cave paintings but also throughout the entire history of art, by the Egyptians, Romans, during the Renaissance, and still it is part of many palettes of many artists, myself included. Yellow ochre can be found in my mixing palette, since it's a beautiful yellow earth color that really adds a lot to your palette. So as we're looking at yellow ochre, it's kind of orange on the screen, but looking at which hue angles it should land on, my version, we're right about in this angle, uh, which well says yellow ochre, and it's a little bit more chromatic than the yellow ochre on this scheme. 